Okay, so this video is kind of a continuation of the TV Wars Part 3 that I did where I tested uh, best connections versus best connections. So I did S-Video component and then HDMI. Uh, I got some feedback where uh, um, someone asked me, uh, well, they, they they said, well, maybe, you know, you didn't see a, a difference between component and S-Video because the component wasn't in... Uh, progressive scan mode, the 480p mode. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to, uh, well, yeah, then I, I, I explained that you actually can't, um, well, you can put SD CRTs in, uh, <laughs> in a 480p mode and progressive scan mode, but it looks really, um, awful. So yeah, I just wanted to show what that looks like. Uh, but anyway, um, but yeah, first off, let's, uh, go into here because I wanted to show what it's supposed to look like on a TV that can actually accept um, 480p. Uh, so yeah, this 4K TV obviously can do 480p and a lot higher than that. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's go in here. Oh, I hope this sensor bar. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah. So um, so yeah. First off, this is uh, 480i. And what I'm going to do here, there we go, I'm going to go in here and go to Wii settings, set this to 480p. Let's see here. Screen TV resolution, so yeah, you can see it's on 480i right now. And then, yeah, you do need an ED TV or an HD TV to do 480p. And yeah, this, this TV here is a... Well, actually, technically, they call them a UHD TV, an ultra high definition, because it's a 4K TV. But, um, but yeah, it obviously can it works as an HD TV. And then uh, ED TV, uh, those TVs, uh, so it stands for uh, expanded, no, 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 enhanced. Sorry, enhanced definition TV. Um, those came out. It was kind of like a step between uh, standard or SD TVs and then HD TVs. The ED TVs or enhanced definition TVs, they could do 480p, but they couldn't do um, anything higher than that, from what I understand. And and shortly after they came out, then HD TVs like HD CRTs came out with HDMI or DVI inputs. So, yeah, they, yeah, people didn't really buy them too much because yeah, <laughs> the HD TVs came out soon after that. But yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, click on this and confirm. So you'll see the resolution will change at the top of the TV. See, it says 480p. So yeah, so now this is in 480p mode, and you can see it looks pretty much the same as before, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, we we could go in and find uh, differences, but that's kind of what we did in the other videos. Well, I don't know, maybe I'll do another video on that, because I guess we didn't look for that specifically um, too much. But anyway, yeah, this, this basically um, eliminates the interlacing and the deinterlacing that this TV does, so... But yeah, anyway, um, let's go into this GameCube game. I'll just show you what this looks like, too, in an actual game. So this is Pokemon Call Steam. And you can see at the top here it says uh, Progressive Scan Compatible. And then if we open up the instruction booklet... Oops. It's kind of tricky. Yeah. One more page here. All right, so yeah, you can see it says progressive scan again, and then you can read this uh, this fine text. This these two paragraphs down here, uh, but yeah, basically it just says that if you want to activate progressive scan mode, then you have to hold down B uh, when the game starts. And you can see here again it says an ED or an HD TV. So yeah, anyway, just wanted to show that. So see, so yeah, I've got a trusty GameCube controller here set um, plugged in. So yeah, we're going to go over here and I'm going to, let's see, where's the Wii remote? And actually I've I kind of noticed that um, I'm going to try without, without push, well, I'll, I'll do, I'll hold B, but I think you can actually, I think the Wii actually recognizes that it's in 480p mode and then you actually don't have to hold B. I think the Wii is smart enough to recognize that because you already set it here. Um, yeah, that'd actually be kind of an interesting test. I'm going to not hold B and just see if it... Here, I'll put my GameCube controller over here so you can see. But on the on the actual GameCube, I think you always have to hold B. 
Yeah, let's see if it just comes up without pushing B. Yeah, so you see it's, it changed to 480i. Yep. Yeah, so see I didn't have to hold B on the Wii. But yeah, so we'll say switch the display to progressive mode. Yes. And so yeah, so now it should uh, switch to 480p. Yep, there it is. You can see the resolution switch there at the top. Yep, you can see everything looks great. So yeah, we have confirmed that this 4K TV can indeed handle 480p correctly. And yeah, and I and apparently on the Wii you don't even have to hold down B, so that just must be a GameCube thing. Um, actually, uh, since we're at it, I'm kind of curious. Before we test the CRT TV with the 480p mode, I just wanna. I'm gonna put this back into 480i from the Wii menu, and then I'm gonna see if it still uh, requires or. If it still doesn't, if it still lets us put it in a 480p mode, because what I'm thinking is that maybe the Wii tells the game that you're holding B if you already set it to um, 480p in here. So I'm thinking if we set to 480i, then maybe we'll we'll have to end up holding down B on the GameCube controller, because yeah, obviously in the GameCube uh, um, menu screen it didn't have an option for 480p. So yeah, so now this is 480i, so now I'm going to go in here, and I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if that menu doesn't come up now. Let's see what happens. So I'm not holding down B, as you can see. Yep, so see it didn't come up. Alright, so now, let's turn it off. Now I'm going to keep it in 480i mode. And we'll turn this back on, try holding down the B button, see if we can get the that uh, menu to still come up even though, yeah, it's not set in um, 480p. Okay, so let's start here, and I'm going to hold down the B button. Yep, you can see 480i. Yep, there it is. So yeah, switch. Yeah, switch the display mode to progressive scan. So yep. So yeah. So yeah. So when your Wii, this is something I didn't know. Oh, and oh, and look, it, it chooses it automatically if you don't push anything. That's cool. It should switch to. Yep, there it is. 480p. So yeah, that's something I didn't know. Uh, so yeah, if your Wii is set to 480p progressive scan, then you don't have to hold down the B button on the GameCube controller. It just uh, holds it down automatically for you. But if it's set to 480i, then you do have to hold it down. So anyway, now let's uh, plug it into the CRT TV. I'm going to use the exact same monster component cables and see what it looks like on the SD CRT. So here we go. This will take me a second to set up. Okay, so here's the back of the TV. I figured I'd just film this just for fun. Yeah, I unplugged the component cables, and uh, yeah, we're going to plug it back here. So first we got the to audio. Oh, I just knocked something over. <laughs> oh well, we're about ready. Doubt, about done with these tests, and then I'll clean up this room and make it look really nice. Yeah, to the uh, two audio cables there, and then let's see if I can turn on the flash. There we go. That looks better. So I plugged into two audio cables, and then we're gonna do the the first color cable, the PR, and then we got the. Oh, that's not the one. Where's PB? There you are. PB, so those two carry the color signals. And then we got the Luma, or the Y signal. Yep, there it is. Okay, now let's go back and turn on the Wii. Okay, here we are in the front of the TV again. We plugged in the Wii. Let's turn on this uh, Sony Trinitron TV. Did you hear that degosser? <laughs> yeah, those Trinitrons sure have loud degossers. All right. Yeah, I was originally thinking of testing these TVs at the same time and just hooking them up with a, a splitter, but uh, yeah, I decided just to do, just to plug it directly into the TV. So anyway, um, yeah, let's uh, turn this on here. All right, now this should this should show up correctly now because oh, <laughs> oh, 
All right, there you have it. So actually, I guess it was still set into, um, what do you call it, 480p mode before. Hmm, I thought I changed that, but I guess not. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe it switches automatically. I don't know, because, yeah, I definitely changed that before. But anyway, this is what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, this is what 480p looks like on an SD TV. So I bet if we go in here, it's going to say um, 480p. Yeah, so see, you can kind of see where you're navigating. It's just, it looks, just looks very bad. Whoops, not that one. TV resolution. Yeah, so see, maybe it detected the component cables. Oh, you know what I bet it was? I bet when I held down the B button on the GameCube controller and set it to component, I bet that also set it on the Wii menu. Huh, that's interesting. I didn't know that that would change it. Because, yeah, I, I definitely changed this to standard before, so anyway... Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. See, I have a I have a wide range uh we um Wii U uh sensor bar that works a lot better than this than the one that comes with it. Um but yeah, anyway, let's set this back to 480i. Yep, so see now it looks good again on the CRT. SD CRT to be precise. Let's see here. Let's change this white balance. Okay, all right, so now that it's set to 480, um, what do you call it, 480i, now let's uh, go into this game, and I'll hold down the B button again. Let's get this set up. Yeah, not this B button, but this B button. <laughs> okay. All right, hold down the B button here. Okay. And then, yeah, and then it should just select it automatically. And then I expect this to look very bad in progressive mode. So you can see progressive mode has been turned on. And then give it a second here. Okay, now it's... Yep. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. The sound sounds great, though. <laughs> yeah, the picture is horrible. So anyway... This is the reason why I didn't put the Wii in progressive mode when I was comparing component to S video. Yeah, it just looks very, very bad, as you can see. So, anyway, um, yeah. And so, unless you have an ED TV or an HD TV, uh, yeah, don't put your GameCube or Wii in progressive mode. Because, yeah, it'll look pretty bad. Um, so, yeah. And then, and then I, yeah, and then I still stand by the same point I made in the TV Wars 3 where, yeah, S-Video and Component uh, look pretty much the, exactly the same. Or, and actually, I thought in a lot of cases S-Video, well, it might have been just the Mitsubishi TV, but yeah, S-Video looked better than Component, so, uh, yeah, I still stand by that statement. Um, now I'm just, uh, now I'm just curious. Let's see if I turn off the Wii and then turn it back on if it's still in progressive mode because I'm thinking that when you set the GameCube mode in progressive mode it also sets the Wii into progressive mode so let's see if that's the case. Yep, okay, so that's what it was. Yeah. And see now when I go into the game, oh wow, now it even looks worse than before. Yeah, so now when I go into the game now I, I shouldn't have to hold down the B button, it should just come up with that menu automatically. Yep, there it is. So now I'm going to say no, and we'll just keep it. So see, progressive mode has been turned off. So now it should look really good again. Yep, see? There it is. Yeah, so anyway... Um, so you could go out and try to find an HD uh, CRT or an ED CRT, you know, if you want to do progressive mode. And progressive mode is pretty cool, but the problem with those TVs is that they actually have a lot of the same problems that newer uh, HD or UHD TVs have, where they add a lot of digital processing to the signal, and they have lag, and then they also don't interpret um, 240p uh, systems uh, the right way. They they basically treat it the same way that digital TVs treat the 240p games. So, yeah, these SD CRTs 
um, really are the ones that are highly sought after by gamers nowadays because yeah they still offer an, exper uh, an experience that ED and HD TVs whether they're CRTs or digital uh, just don't offer so yeah anyway you got one of these SD CRTs with S video or component um, yeah hold on to it because yeah both of those well again S video is a type of component it's just a different type of component so yeah if you have S video or YPP uh, YPBPR on your TV you've got a pretty good um, find there so yeah just enjoy your S video CRT and there you have it let me know what tests you want me to do next time and thanks for watching bye